One of the biggest mistakes that I see people making when they plan their, their future retirement is they don't take into consideration the taxation of their social security benefits. And they don't consider something that's referred to as the tax torpedo. Let me give you an example of how this stealth tax works. We're gonna use, for the example, a married couple. We're gonna assume that they're filing a joint return. They've got a combined social security benefit that's gonna be $34,260. Now, in addition to that, they're taking distributions from their IRA or could be their 401k. It could even be a SEP IRA or a 403b plan. It doesn't make any difference. Distributions, withdrawals coming from any of those traditional tax-deferred retirement plans, they're gonna be treated the same way for the purpose of this tax torpedo. So they've got $26,870 additionally from their IRA. I've chosen these numbers specifically because if we combine them, it puts this couple at the very top threshold for Social Security taxation. When we're talking about the tax torpedo, we're not talking about the income under this threshold, we're only talking about income that exceeds this threshold. So let's say these people, let's say they wanna take a cruise or they wanna play some more golf or do some fun things in retirement, and they need to withdraw more money from their IRA in order to be able to do that. Let's say they take just one extra dollar from their IRA. Now most people know that this money that's sitting in their IRA and their 401k, it's never been taxed. And most people are prepared that when it comes out, when they withdraw it, they will have to pay taxes on the money. What they're not prepared for is the impact that this dollar has on the taxation of their social security benefits. Again, because that dollar was over that top threshold for social security taxation, the withdrawal of it also creates 85 cents of taxable income from one of their social security dollars. They've only got an extra dollar that extra dollar, when it added to the extra 85 cents of taxable income that it created on a social security dollar, means that their total taxable income by withdrawing that one dollar is a dollar 85. But think about this a minute. They've only got an extra dollar to spend, but that withdrawal of that dollar over that top threshold creates a dollar 85 of taxable income. Let's assume that these people are taxed at a rate of 25%. That's their marginal tax rate. It's not 25% of the extra dollar, it's 25% of the dollar 85. That means that that creates a tax of 46 cents. 46 cents, they've only got an extra dollar to spend, 46 cents in this example goes to taxes. Now. The impact, how the, the tax torpedo impacts you, it's gonna depend upon your specific circumstances. And it can impact people differently and some people it won't impact at all. If you're concerned about this, it's a good idea to talk to your tax professional uh, about it. This has a tremendous impact on people because it's unexpected. People, when they reach retirement, they're not expecting to be taxed at these kinds of rates. If, if you think about this, effectively, paying 46 cents of tax on $1, effectively that means, or you could say that these people are effectively taxed at a rate of 46%. So that can derail an awful lot of retirement plans paying taxes that high. Such an important topic that I feature it in chapter seven of my book, How to Avoid a High Wire Retirement.